What? I did not think I was going to be here today. <laughs> What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to MSM on the road. We are back on the road. The RV is back there. We are in Canyon, Texas at Panhandle Lodging. I believe that's the name of this place. Uh, we're actually on our way to Santa Fe and uh, we were like, you know what? Let's just drive as far as we can before we get tired. We wanted to get off the road before it got dark because out here in this part of Texas, in the Panhandle of Texas, there's like open road. There's nothing going on and I bet you at night it's pretty creepy. So. We found this RV park and decided to just stay here the night, but guys, we got the RV back and uh, they still haven't done anything. The saga continues on the RV. They, have, they haven't they have fixed anything. We brought it in for more warranty work. Uh, there was a recall. Actually, I take it back. I, I gotta give them a little credit. They did the recall, but they had it for two and a half months. Didn't do anything. So yeah, not only did they not do anything, they left it broken again. They're supposed to be replacing my thermostat. And whenever I went to go slide my slide out, I heard a crunching noise and it started crunching the thermostat. They had it just hanging down from the wall behind the slide. There was no way for me to find it, but I'm, I'm just so fed up with the, the crazy service of art, like the crazy RV service. I made a post on a, on a Facebook page asking people if that's a normal thing or if this is a normal thing. Apparently, the best way to go is to stay away from the dealerships and service centers like that and just get a mobile service department or go to one of those mobile service places and then also call i had to call my manufacturer and apparently they can transfer all the warranty work over to one of these mobile places but you have to ask them first so yeah our rv is still not fixed nothing crazy broken the microwave doesn't work and some other like little cosmetic problems we have but it's not 100 percent. and i think they've had it for a combined total of like six months it's insane look at that beautiful sunset it's nice, nice and quiet. It's like a perfect temperature, probably like a, a high 60s. It's really nice over here. So one thing I did experience for the first time RVing is, and I know I call it RVing, a lot of people are like, oh, it's a travel trailer, travel trailer, RV, uh, whatever it is. But, <laughs> but anyways, one thing we did experience is as we were driving up here, we saw a lot of warnings on the map saying it was a high wind warning. So I did a lot of research trying to figure out if I could drive through this wind or if I should even go. And apparently there's just too many factors to know what wind is okay. Uh, we got a big, we got an F-250, so we risked, like basically we went out here just to see how it was going to go. If it's, if we started to feel a little uneasy, we were going to pull over and just kind of let it pass. Um, but we had probably 50 mile an hour wind gusts. It was a little sketchy, but nothing where I didn't feel like I could slow down and keep control of the truck. So I think after my research, it was anywhere between 20 and 30 miles an hour is fine. And then 45 miles an hour and up is like, I guess, dangerous. And stay away from 65 miles an hour. Uh, that's what I saw on a little bit of research I did. But again, 50 mile an hour wind gusts, at least that's what it reported. And we made it just fine. A little sketchy, but just fine. Basically, whenever we get beside 18 wheelers, we just have to be really, really careful. That was weird. Me and Melissa just left this office thing. What were those weird things? On the I don't wall? know, but you scared me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I made a big noise and she jumped back thinking it was going to come out and get her. Um, but yes, we're heading out to Santa Fe. Make sure you subscribe, turn on, notification, turn on the notification bell because the next few, probably the next few weeks, there's going to be nonstop vacation time. It's actually vacation time. We're not actually working. We're not racing RC cars. We brought some RC cars. But yes, make sure you follow along. We're going to have a good time and we'll show you guys everything we do. So hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. And you guys will see us next time. Later, guys. Oh, here it goes again. Look, this is all frozen. Come on. Looks like it's just little itty bitty, like smaller, like BB sized rain, hails, ice. Look at dang, look at that big propane tank. 
but the hose is frozen, so we don't have any water inside. We're on the pump. 